Howdy folks, so in today's video, I want to show you a AI feature that I really enjoy using on Canva. That is two things. So one is the ability to edit any text on an image that they've got, that's just not mine as an example, and also how to translate that text. One of the biggest use cases that I've had for generative AI tools is how easy it is to translate text. And as an example here, I am delivering a course in Latin America very shortly. I want to translate some material, which is not originally mine, into Spanish so it's easier for the audience to consume. So I'm going to show you how I can do this in Canva. And to note, I do have the paid plan on Canva, so some of these features might be specific for that. First things first, I click on the image here, and then I select Edit Image. Now what I do is just click this Grab Text feature here. So what this allows me to do is grab all the text on the page. I can just click Grab, and then in literally under a minute, if my Wi-Fi holds up, you can see here that all of the text has been grabbed, which is fantastic. Then what I'm able to do is use Canva's translate feature here. So if you want to access this and it's not in your bar, you want to hit apps and then go to translate. So I'll click translate. And then what you can see here is I have the ability to translate this text now into any language, which is amazing. And I can click either the original tone. I can change the tone if I want to. I can select different parts of this text too, or I can select all of the text and translate that. So we're just going to take off these two there. And all I have to do is click translate. So I click translate, a couple of seconds, translates from English to Spanish. And then you can see there very quickly, I now have this organization from BCG translated from English into Spanish. And that's taken me, well, a couple minutes to show you how to do that. So the reason why I share that is because these technologies, it's not just about creating content. It's also about helping you to design more accessible experiences. And this is something that was very difficult for me to do previously, either as an individual, or most certainly when I was leading an LND team. Just something to check out. If you are a Canva user, give it a go. And I hope that's been useful. And I will speak to you in the next one.